This is the 100% shiny poison Pokemon location guide for the Teal Mask DLC in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Make sure to check out all the timestamps down below if you're looking for any specific Pokemon and you can check the entire playlist if you're looking for a different Pokemon type and I have another playlist for the base game where you can also look up any Pokemon type you may need. Subscribe for shiny luck and let's get into it. So to make a poison sandwich all we're gonna need is going to be some noodles and two salty Herba Mystica. Remember feel free to mention any of the other sandwiches down in the comments below. A level two encounter sandwich also works. Some of you are tweeting at me pictures with shiny Pokemon just using that sandwich. So write the recipe for that in the comments as well. That, that helps out. Also definitely send me a picture of your shinies on Twitter. Here it is on screen at Philly Beats You. If this works, you should see sparkling power poison level three and encounter power poison level three as well. Something also really important is to be able to use the zoom in trick, which is gonna help you distinguish these little shiny Pokemon in the grass. In order to do that, just go ahead and hit system settings, go all the way down to system, go down to zoom. And once you see zoom, make sure to turn that on. And then once you have that all done, whenever you see a Pokemon and you wanna make sure it's a shiny, you can double tap home and zoom in using the Y and X and zoom out to help your shiny hunting be a lot more easier. All right, let's get hunting. Okay, while I'm already here, let's talk about the Pokemon Bellsprout, which is going to be a grass poison type. In order to hunt this Pokemon, I got you two spicy spots. The first one's gonna be a town kind of reset in the Loyalty Plaza. So what you wanna do is you wanna place yourself right close to this edge here, that way you can look down for the Pokemon that you're gonna hunt. Now, Bellsprout Shinies are gonna look like this. Its evolution will look like this, and the third form will look like this. But the big one we wanna care about is going to be its base form, which is gonna be a very bright gold color. It's gonna be very obvious from the other one. So when you zoom in using the double home zoom in trick, you'll know if it's just pure gold or not. Now, this area requires you to kind of just go in and out. Now, also just to keep in mind while you're doing this, there are Spinarak that do spawn over here and there are some Ekans, so those shinies are possible to show up. So just keep that in mind while you're looking for your Bellsprout over here. But I really like this area for Bellsprout, but those are alternate Pokemon. You could also hunt at the exact same time. Now there is another spot where I personally think Bellsprout is a great hunt and it's gonna be at the Mosfell Confluence. Now specifically at Mosfell Confluence, you wanna make sure you're hunting here during the day. The day is really important to hunt here because at nighttime, as you can see in this B-roll footage, you're still gonna start to get Ghastly's also spawning and mixing up with all these Pokemon. But during the day, not only do you see uh, Bellsprout, you also get to see its second evolution, Weeping Bell. Now, a trick that I did to get a shiny, which you can see right over here in this footage, is simply just circling around the apple farm. Whatever direction you want to go, feel free to go in it. But all you got to do is just circle around the area. And when you do circle around, the Pokemon behind you will start to despawn and you'll get new spawns. So you can keep circling around this over and over again. You might be able to get lucky and get yourselves other shiny Pokemon. <laughs> Look at this. I actually got Ekans over here while doing this. It's really hard to solo out all these Pokemon separately, but this is the best I could show you in terms of getting the Bellsprout and Weepin' Bell. Also, keep in mind, you can go through this entire area if you want on this right side to hunt it down. But, you know, I found it easier just to circle around here. So good luck hunting your Bellsprout. Look at all those shinies. Hit that subscribe button if you want to have shiny luck just like this. While I'm in the Mosfell Confluence, we might as well talk about Ekans, right? Because I showed you Ekans was in the first part of the Bellsprout clip. But you know what? It's also here. So Ekans is going to spawn in this area. But not only will you get Ekans that spawn here, but you get Arbok. So it's second evolution is going to spawn here as well in the area. So as you're traveling around and exploring, you should see Arbox once in a while spawn here. Here's what the Ekans shiny looks like as it's green. And here is what its evolution looks like. Now, so there is a secret spot for Ekans and let me show you how to get there. So I'm gonna start you off right over here from this spot, which is the little apple farm area. And we're gonna face north. So head north with me. And we're just gonna go straight this direction. We're gonna make sure to avoid everything in the grass here. I should slow down for spawns, but that's okay. And then you're gonna see a cave right across, right over here where my flag is. Okay, so as you go inside of this cave, you're gonna see something interesting here. This is where you might find one or two Ekans, but check this out. When you get inside of here, just go ahead and go all the way to this little dent on the north side. Then when you face the opposite way, check this out. Ready? Look at all the Ekans just spawn in. <laughs> 
you start to get like Ekans spawning in the room and there's nothing else in here but Ekans. Now you can do this trick where you send out a Pokemon the auto battle just like that and I'm gonna slowly back up so the other ones can keep spawning and while you're here you can kind of just auto battle because you're in the back so you'll keep getting some some of them to, to spawn as you're hanging out in the back here and you're yep look at that another spawn and it ends up becoming an afk hunt so you want to just chill get some potato chips and hunt this is the spot to do it also if you're if, if your pokemon gets stuck just you know just go out there auto battle and back up that's it all right good luck hunting your ekans a real easy spot to hunt a bunch of coughing with the poison sandwich is going to be in the infernal pass this place is just filled with coughing everywhere and as you can see the shiny is going to be very simple to get it's just going to be a green one that's it so it's not going to be hard to distinguish from all the purple ones the best thing that you can do when you're trying to shiny hunt the coughing is either find a good spot on the cliff where a bunch of them spawn and then do a picnic reset to reset them completely or you could just go up and down the mountain to despawn out a group of them and then head back down to spawn in another amount they'll be all up on this mountain feel free to go up and down it shouldn't be too hard to get a shiny coughing if you bring it to pokemon sword and shield via pokemon home it'll evolve into a galarian shiny one so that's a quick trick to get a galarian wheezing that is shiny this next location is going to be for ghastly and it's going to be all the way in the paradise barrens now in the paradise barrens during the daytime obviously you're going to see all these pokemon and you're not going to be getting ghastly so you have to wait for nighttime now once it's nighttime you should easily be able to find a ghastly because the only thing that spawns in this area straight up just ghastly nothing else spawns here you don't have to worry about it and the shiny looks like this and here's me actually getting a shiny in this location so if you easily just wanted to complete the entire line for your shiny living decks three ghastlies and you're done so good luck hunting a shiny ghastly over here at the paradise barrens now salandit is also a poison fire type pokemon and because of that we're going to be heading over to this location right here all the way up here infernal pass and when you get here obviously there are coughing here but we're not here for the coughing we're here for the salandit so just head down this mountain just like this you're gonna go past oni mountain so keep going further down oni mountain and then once you pass oni mountain you're gonna enter something called oni's maw the moment you're in oni's maw that means well you're in to land it territory and they're going to start spawning all over the ground just like this one of the strategies that you can do in order to easily get one is just pretty much slowly walk around the areas circle around things and despawn the ones behind you and just be hyper aware of the white ones that happen to spawn the only way you're going to get the evolution is if you get a female one so you might have to try a little bit but again this pokemon was in the base game and also has its own cave there this is just for people who would like to hunt it just in case if you just wanted one that says it was found in kitakami so good luck hunting your shiny slant feel free to picnic reset despawn that's all you got to do you should be able to get your shiny i got mine here on pokemon on scarlet at nighttime but it was a male let me know if you catch a female one all right let's move on so there are three locations for spinnerack that i like the best even though they spawn literally everywhere on this map the first one is going to be to the right of masui town go to the right of it exit out and it's going to be a town spawn which means all you have to do is just turn your camera around and look for a blue thing in the grass as this is a shiny pre-evolution and then this is the shiny evolution you should be looking out for so pretty much just quickly reset over here this should be pretty quick the whole group comes out you step back out on revelers road and that's pretty much it all right so that's shiny spot number one all right this next spot is shiny location number two and it's going to be all the way down over here on uh, this little spot facing the water where you do happen to get a bunch of spinner spawning and the best way to do it is just to do picnic reset so that all of them in the background uh, despawn so i just go ahead do this make sure to turn your camera look around picnic reset as soon as the picnic starts coming out hit y just like that so even before the Pokemon show up, there you go. And then you'll get an entire group of new spawns showing up and just double home tap to zoom in uh, to see your Spinarak. This is by far the most common Pokemon I have in this entire series. I have so many of these, it's not even funny because of the bug typing it also has. The final spot that we're going to be hunting for Spinarak is going to be all the way up north at the Gracious stones the cool part about the gracious stones is that you get its evolution to spawn and you get some family spawns 
while you circle this area so pretty much that's all you really have to look for if you see any odd pokemon like a luxury here that's a static spawn so you can just take care of that real quick and you won't have to deal with that one spawning anymore and simply just go around until you see the shinies they're going to be very obvious and different compared to the current ones here so good luck getting your shiny in all three of those locations i'm sure if you watched our bug video you probably have one by now now that you got all your poison type pokemon you should check out this video over here